Hello everyone, welcome to the Lazy Kitchen. Uh, today we're going to make a um, baking sheet dinner and uh, uh, it's going to be something simple and hearty and it's going to be vegetarian, not vegan, but vegetarian. So today our protein is going to be eggs. For those of you who are new to the Lazy Kitchen, we're happy to have you with us. It's a space for people who don't like to cook, don't have time to cook, don't know how to cook, but you still want to put a budget-friendly meal that is healthy on your table. So three quick rules. Um, number one is lazy, so we do little to no prep, cutting, cleanup. Um, today's the exception is we're gonna have to just uh, beat the eggs a little bit to put them on top. Um, the second rule is thrifty in the sense that we want to keep our food as affordable as possible without uh, losing nutritional value. I'll tell you actually where I have sourced my ingredients and how much I pay for them. And rule number three, which is always the most important for me, is healthy. And um, we want to use real food, whole food, and we want a balanced meal uh, defined as a complete meal with a complete protein, uh, at least two vegetables. Vegetables are often the hardest things to get in people. So we also try to have a diversity of vegetable and uh, a healthy starch. Uh, incidentally, I have celiac, so everything's gonna be gluten-free. A lot of it is dairy-free as well, or can be made dairy-free. So um, let's look at what we're gonna use today. Uh, I'm going to use a simple glass baking dish. Um, I'm, you can make it as big as you want today. I'm just cooking for two of us and only hoping to have uh, to uh, eat one set of leftovers. So I'm gonna make a recipe that may be a little bit smaller than some of you are gonna do at home if you've got a horde of people around your dinner table. And uh, um, so you're gonna need an oven as well. Um, and the only other thing that you're gonna need is a bowl and a fork and that's just going to be to whip the eggs at the end. The ingredients we're going to use, we're going to use eggs for protein. Um, eggs are, even the top quality eggs, are really an inexpensive form of protein. These are some organic pasture raised. Um, they were probably around $5 a dozen, and I'm not gonna use quite the dozen for our purposes. I'm going to use eight of them, so it's gonna be about you know around $3 or so of worth of eggs. Uh, the vegetables we're going to use uh, asparagus. These are some nice frozen asparagus. Asparagus. They're about a dollar, uh, two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, we're going to use some frozen leaf spinach. That was like a dollar thirty or something like that. And then again, I may not be using all of the bags. So whatever I don't use, I'll put back in the freezer for the next recipe. And now the uh, the tricky thing is the potatoes. We're going to to use the potatoes in the bottom of the dish, kind of like we would crust lazy crust, my favorite kind. And so um, you want to try to find some shredded slash hash brown potatoes in the frozen food section. You're going to need to pay attention to the ingredients. They are not all created equal. Um, they will have varying degrees of added ingredients. Um, these happen to be, I'm going to make a plug for a brand, which I almost never do. This happened to be Mr. Dell's, Deli's? No, Mr. Dell's. They were $4 and there is literally no other ingredients besides potatoes in them, shredded potatoes. Um, that's the only time I found anything like that. I have found several other brands that just had a tiny bit of like less than 2% of uh, something added that's an anti-caking agent. But if you see your list of ingredients being longer than two, you probably want to look for a better product. Um, the only other thing we're gonna need is going to be some oil from the bottom of the pan for this first purpose, I'm just going to use some uh, good old olive oil for the pantry. We're going to have a little bit of salt, magic spice. And then, you know, uh, the basic recipe is basically just potatoes, you put your vegetables, you put your eggs on top, pop it in the oven for well, maybe like 30, 40 minutes, depending on how hot your oven goes. But you can add just about anything you want to that. You know, we have someone in my house who loves capers, but today I'm gonna to be rebel. I'm actually gonna use some sun-dried tomatoes that uh, one of my patients gave me straight from the garden. But anything you wanna put in there, you wanna put little cheese, you wanna put capers, you wanna put olives, you can add that in. 
Um, we're going to make our recipe as always in 10 minutes or less. That's part of the Lazy Kitchen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the timer. And the first thing I'm going to do is start the oven on 350. Very good. So let's add a little bit of oil in the bottom of the baking pan. You probably want to have enough so that things don't stick. There's nothing more miserable than having to scrape a dish forever. Lazy people don't do that. I wash my hands and we're going to add Mr. Dell's potatoes. Ingredient potatoes. Surprise, surprise. So Out in the bottom of the pan. Okay. I love potatoes. Potatoes are actually a really healthy starch that's gotten a bad rep because we used to processing it and deep frying it, but it's really a wonderful starch. If you use frozen vegetables and you don't want to eat a soggy mess, what you have to do is to always make sure you drain the extra juice. So I always have some old yogurt container to catch and I'm going to dry them up a little bit. Oops. Sometimes it gets just a tiny bit messy. Oh, I guess there's another open someplace. Good. And so our second layer is going to be the vegetables. And that, like spinach, one of those quote unquote superfoods, it's a green, it's got a lot of, it's got a little bit of iron, it's got a little bit of calcium. Um, a lot of plant-based antioxidants. And we can be pretty generous. If you put, if you hide the vegetables between the potatoes and the eggs, you can usually get your kids and your husbands to eat them. Very good. We're gonna put the asparagus. Asparagus, I like them. If your family is not really used to them, just you know, start small and go up from there. And. I'm going to crisscross them. Actually, eggs and asparagus in my book are one of the most wonderful combinations. Oh, my oven is telling me it wants an egg bake. Okay. Good. This is probably where you're going to put your other fancy condiment, whatever you like. So I am going to add a few sun-dried tomatoes right now. And the eggs. For something like that, I'm probably going to put eight eggs. And really all you need is not a really big bowl to crack your eggs. Mm. And you know, eggs is, getting good quality eggs is really worth it. Um, you'll they still they're cheap as a protein. They have a better flavor. They have a better nutritional value. If the chickens have run around and eaten bugs out of the ground, so good. Happy chickens with tasty eggs. And, okay. You do want to, this has no salt added, so I'm probably going to add a little bit of salt to my eggs. You can always add a little more when you serve. And one thing I did forget to grab is typically you want to add just a tiny bit of a milk or milk-like substitute to your eggs. And being this is a very cute recipe, I'm going to add a little bit of oat milk. 
I know my videographer does not approve of this particular brand of old milk, but it will do. We'll drown it in the eggs. And now the trick is not to make a big mess in the eggs. So we're going to get them, just trying to mix them up a little bit. So. This is a great recipe if you want to do it like as a brunch. Um, if you're coming home and you have about 40 minutes at the end of the day and you want to have an easy vegetarian meal and you have time to five minutes to get it together, that gives you time to put on your comfy clothes and kind of unwind a little bit while the oven does the work. And good. And now I'm going to add it on top. If you want to make this more eggy, you can add more eggs. I kind of want a little more vegetables in mine, but you could certainly, for this size pan, you could probably add a couple of eggs if you wanted to. I have eight eggs, so that's what I'm gonna make. You can put it in the oven. You should cover it. I have a little aluminum foil left over from the last squash recipe that we recorded, so we're going to cover this up. and. You know, on 350, probably, I would say it's at least 30 minutes if you have a gas oven that cooks really quickly. If you have an electric oven, probably maybe closer to 40. It's nice at the very end, maybe the last five minutes, to take off the aluminum foil to kind of um, uh, get the top ends just a little firmer, a little browner. And then if you're interested, you can throw in a little extra cheese at the time. So. Time is six minutes and 45 seconds. I still have three minutes to throw everything in the garbage and put a few of my extras back in the freezer. And I am going to go for a little run and I will eat this in 45 minutes. I hope you've enjoyed this. I look forward to seeing you soon again.